Hello all, welcome back to the course on RISC-V processor design. So in this session, we will start the discussion on U-type instructions in RISC-V. So U-type instructions or also known as upper immediate instructions in RISC-V are designed to work with large immediate values. Okay. So in case of uh, normal I-type instructions uh, for storing, uh, we have seen load instructions, right? So in that type of instructions, we can store only 12 uh, bits of data. So uh, we can only store 12 bits of data at a time. But in case of with the help of this U-type instructions, we can store the larger uh, data sizes. Okay. So these instructions operate on a 32-bit register and involve loading or adding a 20-bit immediate value to either register or the program counter. We can either load the 20-bit immediate value to a register or the program counter. So the U-type format also allows for manipulating of the upper 20 bits of a register with the lower 12 bits typically set to zero or user for an offset. So basically what happens is uh, in case of normal I-type instructions, in case of normal I-type instructions, we have seen the load, uh, load instructions, right? Load instructions we have seen, right? So in that uh, load instructions, we can only uh, load 12 bits of data at a time in the register file unit in the RFU unit. Whereas using the U-type instructions, what we can do is we can store 20 bit value inside this either register file unit or we can store it in the program counter. We can either do the both. Now, the instruction format for U-type is immediate value that is 31 down to 12 bits and uh, RD, the destination uh, register uh, address value and the opcode, okay. So immediate value, so the 20 bit immediate value to be used in the instruction and where this immediate value to be stored, the address will be given in this RD field. The, uh, to, in which register it should be stored, this uh, address will be uh, given in this RD field, okay. It is 11 down to 7, uh, that is 5 bits. So the 5 bit destination register where the result will be stored and opcode will be 7 bit for identifying the type of the instruction. So the 20 bit immediate value uh, is basically left shifted or no, uh, no need of uh, actually left shifting also. We can uh, do the sign extension of this 20 bit value, sign extension of this 20 bit value. That is we will convert this 20 bit immediate value to a 32 bit value and we are going to store this va uh, immediate value inside our uh, destination register inside our destination register. Okay. The sign extension concept we have discussed in our previous sessions also. Right? So we will basically sign extend the uh, 20 bit value into the 32 bit value and we are going to store it in the destination register uh, according to the address given in the instruction. Let us see uh, some instructions in this U type. So one is load upper immediate. So the opcode for this LUI. So the U type instructions all have this type of opcode only 0, 0, 1, 0, 3, 2, 1. So basically the LUI instruction loads a 20 bit immediate value into the upper 20 bits of a register setting the lower 12 bits to 0. So the instruction is often to create large constants or prepare a base address for further operation. So basically it is a very simple operation. If we want to store a a uh, 20 bit immediate value into a register. So what happens? The register size is 32 bit, right? Since it is a RV32 uh, instruction set architecture, the register size is 32 bit. So the first 20 bits will be filled with the immediate value, and rest all bits will be stored with zero. That's it. A simple, a very simple operation. So the instruction format will be like this: LUI extend. Extend is the destination register, and zero x. This is in hexadecimal format. Uh, this is the immediate value which we are going to store it in our extend register. If we want to store this immediate value into our extend register, we can simply write this instruction. There is one more instruction in this U type which is called as AUI PC, add upper immediate to PC. PC means program counter. So, in previous case, what we are doing, we are actually loading the upper immediate value into the register. Now, if we want to load that immediate value to our program counter. So for example, if the program counter is pointing towards the address say 4 and if we uh, 
if you want the program counter to point towards say, address 8 so what we can do is we can provide an immediate value 8 to this program counter so that program counter will point towards the address 8 or else if we want the program counter to point towards the address 16 then what can we do we can provide this uh, in uh, this address in the instruction itself so what happens this program counter will point towards the address 16 so this AUIPC instruction adds a 20 bit immediate value shifted left by 12 bits this uh, shifting is not necessary to the current value of the program counter so this results in stored in a destination register so what happens is so let's say if the program counter is at address 4 and if we provide the address uh, if we provide the value 12 then this program counter pc will be equal to current address 4 plus the address plus the value which is provided in the instruction 12 so what is the value resultant is pc is equal to 16 so now program counter will point towards the address 16 and the uh, instruction uh, which is uh, there which is there in this uh, uh, particular uh, location will be fetched by the uh, control unit and it will be stored in the destination register okay. so the result is then stored in a destination register so this instruction is useful for generating addresses relative to the current pc enabling positional independent code so this is the instruction format for aui pc aui pc extend 0x 12345 0x is nothing but hexadecimal so basically this instructions adds the value 12345 to the current PC value and stores the result in register extent. A simple operation. Now, see, uh, this is the explanation for that. So, the uh, current value of PC, let's say it is uh, 0x100. This is the current value of PC. So, this is the immediate value which we are providing. So, the PC will point towards this uh, address in the next cycle. So the value which is stored inside this uh, 0x1234600 is then stored in the register XT. Okay. So these are the two types of uh, U-type instructions uh, in RISC-V architecture. These are very simple and very easy instruction to execute also and to understand. Also. So that's all for today's session. Thank you.